Oh man, that lens is heavy when it falls on your fingertips. Ooh. Uh, just a little bit of pain, but nothing I haven't dealt with before. Now could you come and do sorry? It's all set up. Yeah, we'll, we'll play sorry real soon, my guy. I was gonna finish talking to the people here. Hello! Ha! <laughs> Time for more friends and family. No, it's not clickbait. I do have a disease. It's not clickbait at all, I promise. I do, I do have a disease. It's not a disease that was self-diagnosed or something I'm making up. It was actually something I was diagnosed at a doctor, which is actually a place that I, I rarely go. I don't really like going there unless I absolutely have to. I'm going to tell you what it is. It's something I've known for a long time, actually, and for whatever reason, just haven't shared it until now. I thought, I've shared just about everything on this channel. Apparently not, because it came this morning. I'm really feeling it. And uh, it's something that definitely affects everything. We're going with snakes. I've got a crick in my neck right now, which I'm sure many of you woken up from. That's what is causing this, but there's more. And I, I assure you the reason I'm bringing this up, I, I don't want sympathy from you guys, promise you, I don't. I, I want sympathy from my wife from time to time, that's it. I don't need any more sympathy than that. Now the reason I'm bringing this up today is because I've got snake chores, well I, basically every day I have snake chores, some days they're affected by this, some days they're not. Today is definitely one of the days they're affected, but I still have to push through and do it. One of the big reasons I'm bringing this up is to have you guys consider what you're getting into if you're deciding to keep an animal. I know there's lots of people on this channel that keep animals, that would like to keep animals, especially reptiles, especially big reptiles. Now if you got something like a dog and you need to let it use the bathroom, it doesn't matter how big that dog is, you can just open up the door and say, go dog. Something like this, on the other hand, uses the bathroom. Unless you've got some huge outdoor enclosure with self-flushing, you gotta move the animal yourself. And is that something you're ready to deal with? Getting older and experiencing maybe more physical pain in your life? It's a question you have to ask yourself. Anyway, back to this disease that I'm sure you're like, please tell me already. We'll get there, short story first. I was gonna do some awesome thing while I ride over here on my one wheel, but apparently, when it's cold out, the one wheel doesn't operate. If the battery drops below a certain temperature, it won't go, so, so much for that. But the one wheel is certainly where a big part of the story takes place. Some of you may remember I crashed on that thing pretty bad, oh, a year and a half ago or so, and went to the hospital, which was also the last time I went to the hospital. While I was there at that hospital, uh, they took x-rays to see if I had anything broken, which I didn't have anything broken because I don't break bones, apparently. Getting hit by a car on the highway and sent flying across the highway by said car wasn't enough to break a bone. A fall on a one wheel is not going to break a bone. But it still hurt really bad. That's why I got x-rays. Side story, by the way, don't ever go to the hospital in Templeton. They will treat you, well, at least me, they, they treated, I felt like I was a criminal in that hospital. I felt like I was being booked into a, a jail, not, not a hospital. And they even tried to rob me. They tried, I have insurance, and they tried to charge my card, which I was, you know, I was in pain. I, was, I shouldn't have given them my card in the first place. But they charged my card $750 for nothing, for basically for making me sit for a long time, wait, and eventually learn about, well, I guess I learned about this disease, which I don't know if that's a good thing yet or not. I'm kind of thinking, I'm kind of leading towards not. I think ignorance is bliss and I'd been fine if I didn't know about this, but I do know about it. And that's what I'm sharing with you guys. And even though at this point, I'm sure you guys are like, what is it already? What is it? What is it? I know, I know we're getting there. I just wanted to go over, I looked up treatments for it and they include uh, surgery, medical procedure, epidural steroid injection, uh, medications, all three of which I'm not doing any of that because I don't believe in stuff like that. I don't think stuff like that has a better outcome than the first three options, which are treatment that can include exercise, medication, and physical therapy. Wait, medication? There's medications, that's a wide open term right now. Chiropractic treatments, uh, self-care, physical exercise, and a heating pad. That's, that's the stuff that I'm leaning towards for sure. All right, I made you wait long enough. Degenerative disc disease is what she called it. On the x-rays, she could say it, and she just looked at me and she's like, 
uh, I'll never forget the look on her face either. It looked like, what you gonna do about it, boy? <laughs> I was like, damn it. You guys suck! Degenerative disc disease, and it's something that, uh, it, it pops up. I, I wake up with headaches sometimes, and then when I get a little creak in my neck, it, 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 it hurts. Maybe a little more than a usual crick in the neck. Uh, I like to think I have a high tolerance for pain. Still too cold. What you doing with that chicken, boy? Holding her. Yeah? She's getting try kind of stressed out. She's getting stressed out? Why? Because um, I'm holding her kind of strange, and she's like, what is that? What is that big man with that camera doing? <laughs> <laughs> Which chicken is that, my guy? Honeycomb. Honeycomb? Yep. Is she your favorite? Yeah. Well, Buff is mine second. Because Buffy Wuffy's a scaredy cat. He is so fast. I mean, she. And look how big Honeycomb's crest is. What are you doing here, man? <laughs> it's a good looking chicken, my guy. Thanks for sharing. You're welcome. I'm just about to check for eggs. Oh, I know they was on there. Nope, she's been sitting there all day. She got to go out. You want to play some Solly? <laughs> sure, bud. Hey, I came to sit on that chair, Diffle. I'm coming to sit on that. All right, you asked for it, boy. <laughs> I just want to spin on it. <laughs> okay, so again, not here looking for sympathy. What I'm here for is to encourage you guys to take care of yourselves. Like I'm taking care of myself right now. If you watch the uh, uncut, you know I'm doing a cleanse right now. Again, try to get myself down to fighting weight and stay at fighting weight because extra weight is one of the things that definitely gets in the way of spine health, having to carry around extra weight. So I'm working myself down, running, swimming, doing everything I can to maintain my health as long as possible so that I can take care of these guys, these guys, these guys, you guys, every guys and girls yeah <laughs> hopefully this helps to any of you that are dealing with anything at all it's because it's as as minor as mine is i always i always downplay my own my own issues my own problems i downplay them to tell myself it could be worse it could be worse it could be worse i always tell myself it could be worse because it could doesn't mean it doesn't hurt <laughs> but if you're dealing with anything like that at all don't let it stop you don't let it stop you that you you take control of yourself because more often than not, it is in your power to help yourself heal from whatever it is. Emotional, physical, the ball's always going to be in your court to fix any of those problems. You can't rely, I don't want to rely, and I hope nobody else out there watching this channel is willing to rely on somebody else or some external force to help themselves get through anything they might be struggling with. Don't be the victim. Take action in your own life and make things happen for yourself. <laughs> so I think he will like backwards. Backwards forward. Right, well that could work. Two. Two. Ow! Five. Five. Ten. Three. Daddy, it's your turn. Not tomorrow. <laughs> Once the transfer goes through. Daddy, it's your turn. Transfer from PayPal? Yeah. Okay. Two. Two. I'm out. Seven. Eleven. I'm going to be one behind you. Daddy. What's up? It's your turn. Oh, big 12. 
And a slide. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> you freaking guy. One. Uh -huh. Hey, Noah. What? What do you know? I know. That we're playing Sorry. Yeah, what about playing Sorry? You are, you have all your guys in home. I have two guys out and Eli has two guys out. And that's all I know. <laughs> no one first wave for anybody. Eli won second. No, I no, it's, lost. It's Thank you.